Hello there, I'm the creator and welcome back to Undertale. Let's play. Alright. Home. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon, uh, cinnamon pie. Okay then. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So we'll hold off on Snell. Snell pie? Really? Here, I have another surprise for you. I want to see what's in here. Hey, do not go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. I want to go down here. Hey, do not go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. Hey, do not go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. Ah, oh, I thought there was different dialogue there. Maybe there is an I just not persistent. Enough. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Let's see what's in here. What's in here? An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Heroes. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Okay. Slap. Oh, hey, look. It's pie. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. I'll store that for later. Let's see where Toriel is. Hey Toriel, fire. The fire isn't burning hot. It was pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. I don't think that's how fire is supposed to work, but uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite buck hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a uh, Surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. What you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? I'm more interested in how to exit the ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. I, I don't know what that was with with the word. What happened with that word? Let's just forget that ever happened. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. I, no. No, I'm going to follow you. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm going to go save. Mother. What is it? Why do you escape from me? You wish to know how to return home, do you not? I had to slice the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No. Every hue on this falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. 
they die. You naive child will do with the ruins. They, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Mm. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Doriel blocks the way. Doriel, attack AD! Okay, this is going to be hard. No is best for you. Ooh, ooh. Doriel prepares a magical attack. Talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, uh, Doriel looks through. I can't spare her. Uh, maybe if we fight enough? Oh dear. You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgor. Do not let Asgard take your soul. This plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you, my child? I need to reset. I don't like what I have done. I'm going to reset. Bye. Hello there. I am the creator and welcome back to Undertale. Today we're going to spare Toriel. Continue. Save. Toriel, I am going to spare you. Even if you like it or not. Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Like you have seen a ghost. Do you know something that I do not? No, that is impossible. Oh dear, it is having an effect. Spare. I'm going to keep sparing you. Ooh, it's having an effect. Oh dear. Oh, I should have done this sooner. Why didn't I think of that? What are you doing? Sparing you. Attack or run away. Ariel takes a deep breath. What are you proving this way? Fight me or leave. Ariel looks through you. Stop it. Ariel prepares a magical attack. Stop looking at me that way. Go away. Mm. 
Ooh, she isn't attacking me anymore. Daryl is acting aloof. I know you want to go home, but... Well, please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You will just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. Well, here we go then. Into the full game. This is the path of a word that go most into something inside thing. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> but don't act so cocky. I know what you did. You murdered her. And then you went back. Because you regretted it. <laughs> you're naive, idiot. Do you think you're the only one with that power? The power to reshape the world. Purely by your own determination. The ability to play God. The ability to save. I thought I was the only one with that power, but... I can't save anymore. Apparently, your desires for this world override mine. Well, well. Enjoy that power while you can. It'll I'll be watching. <laughs> Did he know? Did he know I killed her? Oh my goodness, he knows about the ability to reset. This isn't good. Undertale. By Toby Fox. And here we are, creepy forest thing. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Whoa. It's been smashed like it was nothing. This isn't good. This is not good at all. Oh dear. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Oh, there we go then. The whoopee cushion in the hand trick? Really? <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? 
That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. No, my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My pro made the bars too white to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit around and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Haha. <laughs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow. Sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Oh man, Papyrus' voice is destroying me. Oh dear. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard and relish thing inside. What is this, a hot dog stand? Actually, hey, hey to bother ya, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. That's the wrong way. Okay. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. And that is where I'll be ending this episode. There was a lot of things going on in this one. But I think we got through with it. And encounter. Snowdrake Flutter's 4th. Check. Snowdrake. Attack 12. Defend 7. This team comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Me me macaroni and freeze. Oh dear. That was terrible. Uh. Ha ha. Uh, see? Laughs. That was wrong. Can I spare you now? Snowdrake is pleased with it. Not you too. You won. You earned your XP in 12 gold. Alright, this is the real end of the episode. See you oh, next time, Crazy. No, I still need to work on an intro. Goodbye, and see you next time.